So we're just about ready to put this bioreactor together. I thought, well, we're just using materials we have on the farm. So I'm gonna put in this height and then I'll put it up another, another three feet afterwards. It's important that you have aeration in these. And so all of these have holes and it's spaced in a way that you don't ever have more than about 12 inches from an air source to the compost pile. And that's one of the important parts of it. So these tubes are placed inside with a specific spacing. And then you, you put the material in around them at the bottom, you pile it up and they stay stable. And then after a few days, you'll notice if you have green material that the compost will go through its thermophilic phase. And you will pull these guys out and the holes running all the way down are maintained. And that's those ones, you can see the holes. The other important thing is that you water it regularly to keep it very moist. Now here's the material that's gonna go into this one. There's um, a whole pile of wood chips. These were just done two weeks ago. These are from a purple plum that was blocking out the solar panels. So we've got that, quite a bit of that. I have digestate, which I'm gonna use. I'll probably use about 20 gallons of that. Um, I have grape mark from, from uh, processing the grapes. That's the seeds and the peels. And then I have some reed canary grass that I was using as a mulch in the greenhouse. There's piles of citrus. This is what the chips look like coming from the greenhouse. This is like citrus, um, mostly citrus, that are chipped and uh, through the chipper. And you can see it's already starting to grow the mycelium. I've got to get this together. And then um, these products here will be chipped and added and might figure out how to get these bananas in there too. These are prunings from bananas that were too tall for uh, the winter in the greenhouse. So I should have three Johnson Sioux bioreactors within a week and um, just give them a chance to break down. And I think this is the way I'm gonna do my compost from now on. So it's really tidy, super efficient, and um, gonna help things around here to grow better.